they're all excited. They want to get back playing. Collectively, if you commit yourself to work hard day in, day out, by the end of it all, you usually are in a good spot fighting for that cup. It's not about individual goals, it's all about the team. It's trying to get the team to where we want to be. They know what lays in front of them, out of importance with every game, and go out and have a heck of a year. Good morning, everyone. Don Fear and I are here to tell you that we have reached an agreement on the framework of a new collective bargaining agreement and should guarantee the future success of NHL hockey for many years to come. It's exciting. It's, uh, you know, we've been waiting for this for quite a, quite a period, so you know, you sense the excitement. The guys were at the uh, physicals early. You know, they were supposed to be there at 7:15. They were there at 6:45, so they were ready to get it done, get it out, and, and get up here. So it's been great. You know, I came in about uh, a week prior to this camp started, and you know, Andrew Peters and Jay McKee both coached us, and they ran a pretty hard little, I guess you'd say, mini camp prior to this Buffalo Sabres camp, and. I really thought that was a great prepper kind of coming into here. I think we, we all have to be focused on what we have to do and uh, I think the coaches have all our, our attention on that side. Palmer, I'm trying to wait for Jokin to get his, we'll give him a few more minutes. Sign his deal, eh? Sign his deal, yeah. Now he's already late, he's going to have to buy dinner now. Millsy or Jonas will stop it, they'll make a direct pass to the D who's opened up in the corner. Ford's going to come down here. Would you normally try to put in 20 days, you know, condense it and put it in five or six days, knowing that, you know, the players have all been, been skating, they've been playing, some of them been playing at a pretty high level. I want this guy to work his ass off to get up on this guy. Let's start with uh, Cody, uh, your line and uh, Anner's line here with the four defense out here. Okay, you ready? Here we go. It's right here. Get across, Anner, get across. Good stick, good stick. Way to skate, Patty. Good job. Change it up. Back that way, back that way. Last one, last one. Um, you know, it becomes a little bit challenging. You, you don't want to make mistakes in practice. You always want to be sharp. There's always going to be competition. You just look at defense right now. We have nine guys that are capable of playing. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's going to be a tough call, but. When you have to make those calls, it's a good sign because it means you have a lot of depth and a lot of players that are capable of playing. Good stick, good stick, good stick. Come on, Mizey. Battle, battle. Got to work on the battles. Oh, Mikael, you get down. We're going to be tough defensively on you. Here we go. I came here to the camp, was a little bit nervous before, you know, before I met a all the guys and uh, went in the us, and but finally all the guys they were really supportive and nice. They helped me a lot, and uh, we kind of was kind of surprised that I wasn't I wasn't nervous and was pretty much confident. When you're built with that size, that skill level, um, the speed, and his, his obviously his vision, I think the Buffalo fans are just going to be truly excited about this player. I, you know, right now I'm just excited to be on that left side with him. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. You don't want to get too excited. You, you know, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. You know that uh, the NHL schedule is is a real tough grind. You've got uh, players, probably 90% now, that are all going to be stronger than you. But it, it's exciting to see a, a young player come in and play well and do good things in practice. That's why you draft these guys. I think the guys were ready. Um, I think every, every guy in that dressing room is professional. Even if they weren't playing in the last nine months or so, everybody came in great shape, ready for this season. And that says a lot about this team. Someone walked by me and I said, you know, what do you think we'll have for, the, for this inner squad game? He said, 10,000, and, and I did a double take, and I said, no, you're kidding, right? I brought my dad down a couple days ago, and he, he obviously wanted to get in the store, and he ended up turning around because there was 300 people in line, and he was going to miss practice. And you know what, that just says so much about the passion of the Buffalo fans. It was pretty impressive. I didn't know that so many people, you know, like, would come to kind of practice game. You know, you really can, can feel that it's uh, not juniors anymore. 
We don't have a lot of time, so let's get it in, try to get it back, and just whoever ends up with it, let's have a half wall, let's have a net front, little slot presence, and let's just get pucks to the net. Don't underestimate the fact that it, the fans cheering on, on every play in that scrimmage doesn't push you a little harder. You feel that pressure to, to perform at an even higher level. Uh, that's, a, that's a big part of helping us, even in one practice. Here we go. I'm worried about line changes and who's coming next and uh, you know what situation is on the ice. You know he's worried about maybe talking to a player about a previous play or a, a play that's coming up. Keep following and try to almost get in way up high in between the two D. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we can we can draw their coverage out and near that yeah. option there. Make sure you guys are talking a lot, especially hey, talking a lot to yeah. Grigo. start figuring out guys calling cards in a hurry uh, you know it makes that that instant chemistry a lot easier and that's what I think we've we've had a little bit of success in camp is just trying to figure out and playing off each other right now and hopefully it's translating right into the regular season let's get on the board let's get on the board again this period come on let's get on the board they know what lays in front of them which is a short season out of importance with every game and, and you know I keep going back we just need attention to detail when it comes to you know, all aspects of our game there he is Good at the lines here. We've, we've talked about a certain way we want to play, a certain standard we have to play at, and let's hold each other accountable, from players to coaches, and uh, go out and have a heck of a year.